Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's bus update video. So, this week we are doing something very different. Um, about a week, two weeks ago, I realized that one of my stop sign lights on 45 was um, burnt out. So, obviously that means I need to change a bulb. So, that's what we're going to be doing today as I talk about things um, as I normally do in bus updates. So, Right now, I'm trying to find my bulbs. Um, I just have to dig them out because they are under things in here. So, this ironically, or I don't know, I don't know if you want to say ironically. Um, well, here, real quick, side note. Here is a um, switch panel for an amp train. Uh, anyways, um, what I was trying to say was, this uh, stoplight that is burnt out is actually the light that uh, when I got the bus it was missing a lens. So um, I had to buy a lens for that when I first got the bus. So let's see where we're at real quick. So uh, on the stop sign here, it's the uh, bottom light that's burnt out. So um, got my bulbs. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get this started um, make sure there's enough room for me to be in the camera but uh, anyways uh, like I said this light has burnt out so uh, that means it is time to replace it and of course uh, on this particular stop sign and stop sign light lens the, um, the screws are on the opposite side of the uh, stop sign so we're just going to go ahead and um, get these off, which honestly, probably should just... Here's what we're going to do. Real quick here, I'm going to take the feet all the stop sign. bulb you can see that it is uh, definitely burnt out uh, let's see. so got the new bulb got our GE 1157s pull one of these bad boys out push that back 
in. So yeah, um, nothing too crazy to really talk about in this week's bus update, but when I do finish up in here with this, there is something on the inside of 45 I do want to show you. So here's the new bulb, obviously a lot nicer looking. Um, so let's go ahead and put that in there. And twist it. I can get it to twist. This might take a second. Let me put this other bolt down. We can just twist. Alright, so new bulb is there. Let's go make sure it actually works. It works! All right. You know what? I probably should have turned the bus back on and reactivated the stop sign. But let's see how far I can get into this without having it. Other screw tightened up in here. That way. That way, when I put the other two in, it's I think you get the basic concept of what I'm doing here, but I just figured, hey, why not film this? Somebody, somebody is going to find this interesting. Bus ownership, am I right? see something cool. Let me let me put this screw in and I'll show you. Now I may have pointed this thing out that I'm about to show you. I, I honestly don't I don't think I have. Uh, but there's something kind of interesting on the stop sign here. So once I get this tightened up I will I will show you So uh, on the back of these stop signs, they've got uh, date codes of when they were produced. And so this stop sign actually has a production date on it, obviously. And I'll show you what I mean here. So this stop sign has a production date of, let's open this back up, January 28th, 1993. Isn't that a fun fact? Um, so the stop sign is actually older than the entire bus. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to put you guys back on the tripod. I will turn the bus on real quick so you guys can see the uh, new bulb with the lenses on.
Okay, so moving on from the stop sign part of the update. Uh, I finally got the uh, bus numbers and replacement vlogs for the 2022s uploaded, so good for me. Um, it took me long enough. So, one thing I want to show you, which a lot of you guys have seen my other magnets, but um, I did two more. So here's uh, 36, um, which that is from um, the 97 Bluebird International I rode in school. And then the other one is on three because I felt like it just belonged on three. So let's go over there real quick. Um, bop, bop. So the other one I put on here just because uh, I think it belongs on here. But the other magnet number I did was uh, 66. So there it is, 66 and three. Um, so that's on here. But yeah, so. Those were two more magnet numbers I did. I have a few more I need to do, but I need to get more magnet or magnets, I guess. So hopefully that'll happen soon. So right now I have the numbers uh, 36, 41, 66, and 97 on magnets. And if you're wondering where the other ones went, they are uh, right in here with all of my other magnets. They're right there. So. Yeah, um, let me fix this winner for it real quick. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much bus update. Uh, I don't think I have anything going on outside of that. Where did I throw this bad bulb? So there's our bad bulb from the stop sign. Definitely burnt out. We're going to go throw this in our scrap pile on three. But yeah, there's, there's uh, nothing else to talk about in regards of the buses or anything like that um i do think let's see so i do think it's about time for this year's ho scale fleet video which honestly i need to check that because i'm pretty sure i've been doing it around august so um i'll look into that and that might be something that'll be coming out soon because let me tell you the ho scale fleet has definitely changed since the last video so that's pretty much it guys uh thank you for watching um, I hope you enjoyed my little stop sign light changing portion of bus update. Uh, give you something different. Um, and with that, like, there's really not much else to talk about, but I thought you guys would like this in a video. So, yeah, uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, 